Oh, okay. This is a uh, this is gonna be a big day, guys. So, guys, how's it going? Welcome to TFR Games. Today, I'm gonna be playing a game called called Dream Daddy. Whew! As you can see, it's a dad dating simulator, made or uh, sorry, produced by the Game Grumps. To which today we will be playing and seeing where it brings us. I don't know a thing about this game. I don't actually even play dating simulators like ever. So this is probably gonna be like the first legit one. Dad tip, it's rude to ask people about their mysterious hand tattoos. I mean, that's actually, a, that's a pretty good tip actually. Tip 32, you can't beat the whammy bar. Medicine is not always the best medicine. Man, these are good tips. Amanda. Dad! Dad! Wake up! Wake up. Pretend to be dead. Oh, you have a choice. Pretend to be dead. Uh... That'd probably be me, pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad! This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda! I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Uh. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in bed. Or, sorry. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, sorry. Spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Oh, I gotta build the dad! All right! To make a sexy dad. All right. What's the build I'm looking for? Are we looking for like thick tank, slim tank, slim binder, thick binder, athletic binder, or athletic tank? I mean, uh, let's see here. I, what's the difference with this one? Oh, okay, okay, that's, that's, that's pretty hairy. Uh, I mean, that's probably fine. There's not, nothing wrong with a little bit of hair. Um, I'm a pretty white dude, as you can see. So I think I've got more of a roundish kind of shaped face. Like, uh, yeah, that, that works. All right, hair. Oh, we've got Aaron's hair. Or Dan's hair. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, ah, nah. Ah, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Could go, <laughs> could go with the Goku hair, Space Warrior. Um, let's get the hair color right though. All right. Oh, I could go with the nice purple or something. Nah, I kind of want to look like this guy. My hair is kind of. I, I like. I love how I'm looking at the camera to like shape this guy. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go with this look. I guess. I suppose. I don't know. It's the closest thing I can. I can see here. All right. My eyes. Obviously, I've got cute kawaii eyes, as you can see. Kawaii! Oh! <laughs> you know, it'd be pretty funny if those were my eyes the whole time. Um, let's see here. What can I get? I mean, I've got hazel eyes, and they're more green than anything. So, uh, let's just go with that. Um, he, this is a dad that looks like he's up to no good all the time. Let's go with... Uh, we'll just go with this for now. Actually, no. Screw it. We're gonna go with these eyes, guys. I don't care. Um, for the nose, I've got a... Yeah, that's kind of like my nose. Or, or this one. Let's get to the mouth so we can have myself... Oh my god, that's... Can we get a zoom in on that face real quick? Look at that. Look at that face. Could get some big lips going on. Could get the... You know what? Let's... Could get that look. That mean... That mean... Big anime lip kind of look. Well, let's, let's just not. All right, to the straight brows. Ooh, could get like a little, get the eyebrows with the little scar there. Um, I think we'll go with, well, I think we'll go simple with these eyebrows. Um, I mean, my eyebrows are kind of like that actually. Oh my God, wizard brow. Let's go with these ones. They're simple enough. Now facial hair. Where's the beard at, yo? Like, where's the, like... I don't want... That's too much beard. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Clearly can't go with these. Um, alright. Now... 
There's no purple sunglasses! No! That's my staple thing! Alright, well, we'll just stick with, uh... Th this for now? Do we do piercings? Nah, we don't want piercings. Clothing! Alright. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. I like that. Um, that's a cool shirt, actually. The guy looks so weird. Wait, what does he look like like this? Oh, that's even worse. Um, you know what? I feel like... That looks nothing like me. Oh my god. This is terrible. This game! This game's faulty. <laughs> Let's just go with this look, guys. Um, I'm so unsure about my guy's look. I, I want to I wanna go with it, but then I'm just like, no, I can't. I can't. Uh, Goku here! No, we're just gonna go. We're good! We're ready to go. I could add glasses if I wanted to. I mean, you know what? The, the, the we'll add the glasses. Why not? Screw it. Um, looking good, daddy. His name is gonna be Jordan Razor. Yeah. All right, tip. Okay, tip 69. It's okay to cry if you're feeling sad. All right. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Switching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. All right. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin to look through them. Oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> Amanda, this is the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I, oh, what's this, okay. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, this is cute. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on? Whoa! Heh, <laughs> nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so we went with both. Princess, dragon. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. <laughs> Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. This is so good. Right, yup, definitely repressing that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Oh. Horse phase? Dad? I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave? Ah. I don't think that was his. Amanda ledges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dead arms. Ugh! Nice try, but this is an important blackmail for later down the road. Ooh. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. I was in a ska band? The Sca Scamunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance reminisce about the rad horse section. Hey, it's Emma P. Yeah. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it a like. Give it like a little bit of effort. Oh right, Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets. Whoa. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. I feel like that would be the one, the most viable thing. Let's go that. Dad, that was me. I did that. Uh, 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 oh, oh. I, that's the exact expression I would have if I was in this situation. Can we get a zoom in on that face? Uh, oh. Uh. And as I was having the sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P? She never told me anyone, though. She never, wait, she never told me anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get... A kick out of it. The first foot. Holy crap! There's one. <laughs> I guess this is a this is a this is a dating simulator for you. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a twenty dollar gift card for Mick Fries. <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Taz Tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Uh. Dad, still can't drive past Mick Fries without gagging. Ugh. Still proud of you, though. Amanda research, uh, reaches down deep into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born. This was the day we adopted you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know, though. Which one? This is pretty deep. You were born. It's kind of a funny story. 
We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hands and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him, he says. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh man, I'm gonna cry, guys. This is so sad. Uh. Or sweet. He was right, you know. I stared at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Uh. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. So this is interesting. Very emotional. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I brought or bought this place almost 20 years ago. Oh, this is weird, guys. I'm actually moving to my my new home next week. Oh man, this is weird. Huh? Hey, remember when I shattered the front window uh, playing catch? You always had strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Yeah. Hey, remember when I broke the window, the back window pl We get it, Amanda, you break stuff. <laughs> and there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Remember used to make a stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this- I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. The moving van begins to pull away and I get in the car into a position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So, so what? Mm. So sell me our cool new pad. I clear my throat <clears throat> and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Uh, washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. Let's go with that. Multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Yeah. What a deal! I mean, if sleeping weren't for the week, you sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pop. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to, you know, waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Ew, parallel parking is so gross. Uh, not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Oh, I'm a savage dad. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbors seem pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Uh. I'm in the last year of high school. I'm practically dust. <laughs> yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I knew you were going to say that. Citizen. Hmm. I'm just going to ignore that, but I won't forget it. So what's, I so, so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through solid wall of boxes that that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery mm. shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pulled to the new house outside. Yeah, the lawn is freshly mowed and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. And an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Um, I need some coffee. That sounds like me. Uh, we need to unpack first. Let's say that. As much as I would like to enjoy delicious and healthy ice cream sando right about now, we got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD boxes blocking off the bathroom, and I gotta pee really bad. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank, but with actual sharks stand in your way, let's go get it. Alright, here we go. If you're parking uphill, be sure- okay, I didn't even get a chance to read that tip. Alright. 
I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing, uh, washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! A handsome, clean-cut man stands out my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Whew. Whoa! For my- where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes! Hi, I'm Jordan. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Oh. <laughs> we both hear a laugh. Ah, 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 ah. Kids, right? <laughs> wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her... Is it... It is Joseph, right? Am I saying that right? I really hope I'm, I've been saying that right. Um, hands her the plate of cookies with a hmm. smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to race more than two. Uh, I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh. Uh, I meant... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already a tailspin! I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? Mr. Mr. actually. And, uh, no, not anymore. He died. He died? Oh, I didn't pick up on that. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, uh, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Open it. I see Joseph standing there with a huge Ooh. smile. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. That sounds great. My daughter's Amanda, and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. This is so, like... This is pretty good. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seems nice. Amanda walks back in the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookies in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Uh, I could go for some coffee. I'm feeling a little sluggish, and coffee seems like the more responsible option than just taking a nap. I'm proud of you. All right. You're never too busy or important to be kind of... Oh, okay, we read that. We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. You know, if I'm being real, I go to, like... Like, I'm Canadian, so I go to, like, Tim Hortons every freaking day to do this. So this is this is weird right now. Man, this is such... This is in such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within a per my personal zone. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there, and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibilities that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of the sight and now you're the, that jerk who left their mug? Ugh. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! We walk out- <laughs> we walk inside. <laughs> this is funny. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons. Pa pa patrons. 
lunge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the, what's with that name? Oh, it's a uh, it's kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them this answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling. I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. I scan the chalkboard menu and am, and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Um, I drink black coffee. All right. Uh, classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. God speed you. Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes. Oh. And I'm doing the thing again. But coming right up. Mm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato di Marco, please. Oh. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or Biggie Smalls? <laughs> uh, medium. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyways. Hey. Hey! Scott was cool once. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside, and also don't go outside, and also don't talk to people. Yeah. See? We're making progress. Matt sets her drinks down at her table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Jordan. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Does every dad have a daughter in this? Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in front time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinions on something. Oh, boy. Matt goes in the back, comes with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have the taste test it first, so, uh, can we get a full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the sensations? Amanda nods vi uh, vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste if you want to do a free creative labor. I think that would be common, common sure it? Com commensurate? I've never seen that word. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep going. I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. <laughs> this is hilarious. I was just gonna give- I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyways. Right. Yes. That. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Right. This is amazing! Thanks. The secret ingredient is... Bananas. <laughs> well, I think I might only be able to give you dad bad pu Dad banned puns. But I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. Ay, I like that. Like, oh, oh god, look at all those hearts. Like right said Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. What? Wow. Uh, wow. Actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Oh. Yeah, right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it doesn't sound cool coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hmm. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. See? It sounds good when you say it. I'm sensing flirting going on. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself. Uh, brooding over a cup of coffee, I always meet just for a moment. A hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me stare. Who is that? Yo, real talk. Guys, we're gonna save it right here. We've made it far in this, uh, in this game for the first episode. But if you guys want to see me continue, uh, Daddy Simulator. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and, um, I'm gonna quickly save. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, take care, and, uh, have a great day. See ya.